This is a screencast to show you how you can send automated emails home to parents after your students take a test and you want to share the grades with parents. What you're looking at right now is a typical spreadsheet filled with students and grades that they have received on unit tests or any kind of assessment. I've added in a column here after the integers assessment and I've called it C1, which to me stands for communication number one. And in the first cell right here, I've added in a formula. If the value in C2 is less than or equal to 69, I need a number one. If it is greater than 69, I need the number two, which is why Ben Bell, who received 100% on this assessment, is going to have the number two in this cell, whereas Adam Aaron, who received a 69, has a number one. And you can see if I change Ben's grade to 58, this number will change to a number one, and if he ends up with a 95, it comes back to a number two. So this is the formula you need for now. Drag this value down, and all of your students will either have a number one or a number two beside the grade in this column. Next, add in two columns to the left of first name, parent email one and parent email two. For the sake of this demo, I'll use my own email addresses and I will just drag them down. Now that I have email addresses for the parents of all of my students, and I have this formula pulled down beside their first test assessment, I'm ready for the add-on. Go into the add-ons gallery and search for the add-on called Formula with two M's. Where it says Manage here, yours will say Free, so add it. Go back into the add-ons drop-down menu and launch Formula. The first thing you'll need to do is select the sheet that contains all of the data that will be merged. In this case, it's all coming from the Math Grades sheet, which you can see right there. Because the data that you're collecting is not coming from a form, you don't need to worry about form triggers. If you wanted to send home a generic email to parents that simply contained the grade that they received on a recent assessment, you really would only need one email template. Because you want to send home a different email depending on how the student did, change this number to two. The first email template will be called 69% or lower. The second email will be called 70% or higher. I need to send this email home based on the data that's contained in the column called C1. The same for this one. If the value contained in column C1 is the number 1, then I will send home this email template. If the value contained in column C1 is a 2, then I will send home this email template. I'll save my settings and now I'm ready to create my templates. The first thing you'll need to do when you're building your merge templates is put in the parent email addresses. Parent email 1, make sure you have a comma to separate them, followed by parent email 2. Now you'll see here the comma vanishes in between. Make sure you go back and add that comma in or it just won't work. Give it a name and now create the body of your email. I have one pre-prepared. I'm just going to fill in the merge tags. Here they are all on the right side as well. To the parents of first name, this is a quick email to let you know the results of first names and you'll see I added in an apostrophe S right here. Recent math assessment on integers. First name earned A and right here I need a different merge tag. I need the value that was in the integers column. Now for some reason it still ends up at the top whenever you paste it in. So you just have to jump around a little bit and get it to where it needs to be. First name earned A and this will give the percentage. He should consider reviewing the following concepts. Thank you for discussing this with first name this evening. There you go. There's my first merge template created. It saves automatically and now I'm going to copy the whole thing and build my second template. Again, parent email one, comma, parent email two, and again the comma vanishes for some reason, so add that back in. I'm pasting in the same one because some of the merge tags are already in there, except I need to just switch it up a bit 
because I want a different email sent home to the students who received 70% or higher. And now I'm just going to copy this merge tag, put it right here, and here. Everything else is the same. And now I'm ready to preview all of the emails. So the first template that's created is using the template 69% or lower because in row two, Adam received a 69%. So this is the email that's generated for Adam's parents. The second email that's going to be sent home is for the data that's in row three and the template that was used was 70% or higher because Ben received a 95%. And here I noticed that I actually don't have the percent sign in there. I go back and edit my template and all I'm going to do is right after this merge tag, put in a percent sign, it saves automatically. In the other template as well, add in a percent sign, it saves automatically. Go back to preview and there you see it's filled in there and it's filled in there. I can go ahead and look at all of these email merges, but instead I, I'm pretty sure they're fine. I'm going to send them now. So I simply click send now. It says what's happening right here and I can see all of these cells populating behind this window that the emails are being sent. Here I can see that Adam's parents received an email from me on December the 15th and this is the template that they received because Adam received 69% on his assessment, which means his parents were sent version one of the email. Whereas Evie's parents received version two of the email because Evie received an 86%, which means she received email template number two. And if I now visit my inbox, I've received all of these math notifications and I can click on any of them to the parents of Izzy. Izzy received an 87% and this is the email that the parents would receive. And here's one right there for somebody who received less than 69% and that's the email that those parents would receive. I hope you find this helpful and if you have any questions, please feel free to contact me on G plus at plus Kim Polishuk or on Twitter at Kim Polishuk.